Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Veterans Day. So I want to wish all you veterans out there, and yes, I know this is going to be after Veterans Day, but I want to wish all you veterans a happy Veterans Day. And to the spouses and family members of veterans, I also want to say thank you for supporting them supporting us while we were doing what we do so right now today what i'm doing is i'm kind of when i'm cleaning up the truck a little bit but in the back of my truck i have these two lock boxes which i'll show you in a second and i love them i mean they are like the bee's knees just really really enjoy them however when it comes to putting things in the back of the truck i get limited on space so when i go to put stuff in here i get limited on some space and i also have the deck system which then eliminates some more space and i'll show you what i'm talking about just one second i just want to get this stuff this little stuff put into this box so let me show you so as you can see this is the deck system, which almost completely takes up the back end of the truck. I mean, what do I got another eight inches maybe to the top? So of course I got a camper top and on the camper top, these are the locked boxes that I'm talking about. So it then condenses the amount of space that I have. So, so really all I have is what's right down the middle. Well, I got to looking at these boxes and I noticed that they had screws that are holding them onto the frame of the camper top. So I really only use, I use both sides, but I can easily condense everything thing into one side of the camper so I can remove one box. So that is my, my plan for today for right now. Um, I'm going to have to go check on the goats because yesterday, November 10th, Moo Moo, as you guys may have seen on the YouTube shorts and then on the last video, Moo Moo had her first kid. So she had her first kid, which should mean a lot of the other girls are going to begin kidding here shortly, which is exciting. So I want to get this stuff, I want to get this knocked out and then I'll go take a look at them. I have to fix some of the panels that I originally set up. And the main reason is, is because when goats are around each other, whether they're separated in pins or whatnot, they'll ram <laughs> the gates or the fencing. And with them doing that, they've busted some of the, the fencing that is supposed to separate them. So, you know, today, tomorrow, I need to get in there and put some plywood up and just go ahead and take care of that problem and be done with it. Let's get to figuring out how we're gonna do this. I have to look on the inside of it. So, let's see, woo. All right, so essentially, right now I'm just taking these screws out. That's a, these, I believe it's a 25 millimeter or a T25, I mean, excuse me. So I don't know what that means in millimeters. And I have to do some sneaky peat stuff over here. I've removed, I believe, all the bolts, see if this thing comes off. Voila! All right, now I got plenty of space to get into this portion of the truck and load stuff in if I need to. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So 
Now I have plenty of space to put things in here, carry stuff, whatever I need to. And I'm only missing a very small portion to put stuff in this side. But I want to keep that box because that box is kind of like, it's just a junk box, to tell you the truth. But, you know, it's, it's lockable. So, and all of these are lockable. Pretty sweet. I dig it, baby. Well, I'm going to get to picking stuff up. I'm not going to bore you with that. And I don't know what else we're going to do today, if anything, but yet, or yesterday, tomorrow, I'll be getting into the goat's pen and putting some plywood up and stuff like that. So, if I don't see you today, I'll see you tomorrow, baby. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I got to get out here. And if any of you remember Butter, she had a bad front hook. Well, I quarantined her, kept her wrapped up, and... I kept her quarantined for like two weeks, Bambi for three. Bambi's good to go. However, Butter, I've seen her kind of limp on it. Well, I just took that as she was used to kind of doing that. So I didn't think much of it, but today, I mean, she was literally like, wouldn't put any pressure on that hoof. So I got to get in here, take care of Butter. Jeez, never ends, does it? Oh, goat. Is you a good boy, goat? Oh, yeah. Oh. Mama. No. Bell, Bambi. See, Bambi's just walking perfect. No. I'm coming. So, earlier today, I was telling you guys about Butter and how her foot was, her right hoof, she was favoring it again and where she wouldn't even walk on it and i thought i'd cleared it up however when i looked at it i got her in one of the pins had her locked up and i started cutting away at that that hoof with hoof trimmers and as i was going you know through it i there was a lot of dirt and debris in the hoof now i have trimmed her hoof several times i just don't think i ever realized how deep her hoof was so what what had happened is, is is similar to bambi except bambi's hoofs they tend to grow over one another to where butters they they grow straight and then right at the bottom they start to splay a little bit and maybe that's a a nubian goat thing or i don't know but i started scraping away and as i i scraped further and further i probably had about a half an inch of impacted dirt in her hoof and originally i thought her hoof just had an infection on the inside between the two toes there was some infection coming out the top so i just i had assumed that it was just an infection there put some copper sulfate on it wrapped it up had her quarantined for two weeks and she was doing a lot better well since she's been out running around she's she was favoring that hoof again so that's when i got in there cut the trim down the hoof all the way down to the pad and it was still there was still like dirt inside the pad so what had happened what i'm assuming happened is the infection came because she had essentially an abscess and it, it had to go somewhere so it came out in between there was probably a weak spot right there and it came out and that was the you know the infection coming out and what we thought or what i thought i had cleared up was still a problem so i've trimmed her hoof all the way down to the Essentially, it's kind of like the cuticle. I trimmed it all the way down to that, put some copper sulfate on it, wrapped it up, and I'll check on it again um, in seven days from now and see how she's doing. And I know she's going to have to have, sh she'll be probably quarantined. Well, not quarantined, but she'll be locked. <laughs> she ain't going to be locked up. She ain't in quarantine. What's going to happen is, is I'm just going to have to monitor that foot for the next couple of weeks, get it healed up. To where she can start utilizing it and it heals so and that copper sulfate it's a savior I, I don't even know what to tell you about that but it's good stuff so what i got from amazon what is some mirrors and these are jeep mirrors i didn't get tractor mirrors doesn't matter if i would or wouldn't have it's on this kubota it's got a spot for one mirror now with that being said i have to figure a way to semi-rig this because this portion of it this shaft is 
not thick enough for the hole for the mirror, which, hey, no big deal. And there's absolutely no instructions. Who needs instructions, right? But this thing came with two two mirrors, but I don't I only have one spot to put a mirror. And I will tell you the reason I am putting a mirror on here is because I never look behind me and I'm always running into stuff. Trees and stuff like that. So I wish this would have came with some basic instructions though, I'll tell you that much. So I'm putting this top nut on what would probably be considered upside down. Because that is going to go and get smashed up in there. Ashley, where's your sister at? So I don't know if you heard me in one of the videos, but Mary Cat has gone missing. Which, jeez Louise, chicken! You scared the bejeezy out of me. And the reason that it sucks is because I enjoyed that cat. I mean, that's my fault. I know better. I don't really care for cats, and for some reason, I decided, well, what happened was, is she was just a cool cat, man, she just, she didn't bother me, I didn't bother her, we just did our, our own thing, let me bring you over here real quick and show you what I'm doing, what I've got here is, this is going into this spot, put a rubber gasket on the end, crush washer, you hear that fire going on, better not be on my property, boy. The hunter never wants to become the hunted, right? But if you're going to be on my profile, my profile, <laughs> my property, I'm going to jack you up, boy. So now what I'm doing is I'm just tightening this on here. And this bracket right here, I didn't look it up, but it, it may not be for a rear view mirror. However, that's what I need. So You keep going, Rooster. Zwala. Right, right now. Woo. So the next thing we got may be a little bit more difficult for me, but we got some LEDs for the tractor so I can see. So what this came with was two of these and then one big light bar. Okay. It does have, appears to have instructions of some sort. Which I see. Now, originally my thought was I'd put these on the, the ropes system of the tractor. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. Come on. Okay, what you doing on top of there? What you doing way up there? Now here's the thing, is my longest bolts long enough? Oh no. Well, that just means I have to do the prod, the product, the project in a few days. This will be the Monday video. And I know it's not gonna have a lot of stuff on it. However, my cousin who was probably, you know, my first or second best friend, probably my first, I mean, I don't ever recall a time when I met him. So I guess that's just how long we've been best friends. Cause my brother, he's my best friend and we, we've been, We've been best friends since, I don't know, three years old, four years old, something like that. And I'm an old dog now, but back to my cousin. My cousin had colon cancer and they originally gave him six months to live. Well, that was two years ago. And he beat the odds as far as having cancer and the cancer that he had, he lived for two years. And on the 10th, when we had the baby goat born he passed away so i am going this weekend which i believe will be yeah i leave on the 13th and i'll be back either sunday or monday so i won't have time to upload a video uh when i get home edit it and upload it and stuff like that so this will be my video for the week and you know he was 44 years old two years older than me it's sad he leaves behind a, his wife and two sons and it's tough but they're they're actually doing a visitation for a few hours so i'm gonna go up there with my sister and my dad will be up there so i'm gonna go spend a few hours with family and then back to the homestead you know the work doesn't ever stop so you know being away for a couple of days as necessary as it is you know it just means when i come back i have that much more to catch up on i don't care because 
I love my cousin. I always will. I'll never forget him. You know, and that's life. It's God's will. So that's why I'm going to take it for what it's worth. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Sorry to end it on a somber note, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on, what I had going on, and what the next couple of days entail for me. And kind of why this video, you know, won't be the longest, the most exciting. But here's Ashley. So we'll end it with Ashley. Are you ready, Ashley? Mary Cat did this. Can you do it? That's going to be it for this video, guys. If you could, one last time, go over there, hit the subscribe. Give us a pull up. Give us a pull down. Give us some wild comments. Y'all look crazy. I love you. Ah, crazy cat. We love you. And we'll see you on the next video.